Somebody there. Enjoy. All right. Um, well, next, to be able to travel anywhere, you have to have your passports. We have our passports. But just in case you want to figure out how to get your passport, we will show you where where you go, how much it is, how long it takes and everything. So we're about to show you. <laughs> All right, made it to the U.S. Post Office. Let's go get this passport. All right, so let's break it down. We already went to the post office. After you go to the post office, there's a tiny little section. You don't even have to speak to anybody in the post office. You go in to the passport area, grab the passport application fee. Okay, this is how it looks like. You grab this and you walk out the building and you go home. Okay, after you go home, you fill out the paperwork. Okay, I'm gonna show you some more. But you just start opening this, fill out the paperwork, okay? After you fill out the paperwork, before, for first time, for first time um, passport, people who are getting the passport for the first time, you have to make an appointment. So you have to, you go to the USPS.com website. That's where you go to make an appointment. For you to go to the appointment, you have to have a few important things. You have to have proof of citizenship, or in other words, your birth certificate. Then you have to have proof of identity, in other words, your driver's license. Or um, if you don't have your driver's license, make sure you also have to have a recent color photo. In other words, if you have your license, great you can use that if you don't you have to bring in a color photo okay then you have to bring in money and keep in mind these are all the things you need so so all the things you need to bring in with the application after you've already filled it out money for what you need they do want copies of your birth certificate and your driver's license but if you do not have the copies don't worry they got you covered so all you got to do is get just bring one dollar for each item they have to copy. So if you gotta do a birth certificate, one dollar. Uh, driver's license copy, bring another dollar. In total, just two dollars for the copies. That's one part of the money, money aspect. Or you do it yourself and you keep the money in your pocket. That's what we like. Then, you gotta have your passport photo. And the good thing is whenever you turn in your application, they can do it there the same day. So all you gotta do is make sure you bring in $30 for the photo. Then, for the application fee, for you to actually turn in all of those documents to them, you have to pay $115. Keep in mind, a lot of passports, you get it once and it lasts you 8 to 10 years. So, it's a pretty good investment and it's not that expensive considering how long it covers you for. At least how long you can have it for. So, $115. You're just doing a renewal renewal of your passport all you have to do is just you can do a walk-in but if it's your first time you cannot do a walk-in they will not take you you have to book an appointment because it gets busy in there you know it gets busy at the post office okay passport application process is turned in you can have if you really want to expedite it it can you have to pay sixty dollars and it can get there within two to three weeks but if you're just patient and you do things early, which is very important to do, it's four to six weeks and it's free. You keep your money in your pocket. Quick snapshot of what you need to do. Go in, get your passport application paper. After you get it, fill it out. Make sure you get your driver's license. Make sure you have your birth certificate and make sure you have either copies. If not, make sure you bring a few dollars for those copies. Then have a copy for your passport, uh, passport photo and then bring your passport application money that fee for the whole for that process and which is 115 so a few dollars 30 dollars 115 application birth certificate and driver's license six things you got to get done and that's it that's it quick 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 get your passport and guess what happens after you get your passport you can start exploring you can start traveling so Let's get to it. First things first. 
and we'll see what we're gonna get done for our next travel planning so we can try to get to june and get this trip started and it's not only for us to get this trip started it's for you to also get your trip started okay okay see you next time